Today, we will see all sun breathing forms in Demon Slayer. Sun Breathing 101 When Tanjiro was fighting for his life against Rui, he realized that his water breathing skills simply weren't up to the mark when it came to dealing with such a powerful foe. As a result, he was forced to look back on his past and remember a certain dance passed down in his family that could be interpreted as a breathing technique. This led to Tanjiro unwittingly using sun breathing for the first time, allowing him to get the upper hand against Rui. It was a great moment that solidified Tanjiro as a powerful demon slayer who could possibly attain the skills required to beat Muzan down once and for all. That being said, there's still a long way to go before Tanjiro can finally fight Muzan on equal footing with the Hinokami Kagura technique. Sun breathing is considered to be one of the originator of all breathing techniques, which is perhaps why it's one of the most powerful breathing techniques around. This breathing style is part of the Kamado family's legacy and is taught from generation to generation with the father teaching the move to their son. The chosen practitioner of the sun breathing style also does a ritual dance in the new year as a tribute to the fire god. Once Tanjiro manages to master this technique, there's no telling what heights his power may reach in Demon Slayer. Second form, clear blue sky. The clear blue sky technique is the second move that Tanjiro pulled off, this time in Demon Slayer Mugen Train. With this move, the user rotates their body to deliver a powerful 360 degree slash. Watching this move in motion in the episode was an absolute blast for audiences. Fans can't wait to see what else is there in store for them with the other sun breathing techniques. Third form, Raging Sun. All the following moves discussed on this list have only appeared in the manga and have not been featured in the anime as of yet. Anime fans who want to avoid any spoilers should avert their eyes this instant. Raging Sun is a simple yet powerful attack which unleashes two powerful horizontal slashes. This move can be used for either attack or defense, making it incredibly versatile. When it does appear in the anime, it's sure to wow viewers. Fourth form, Burning Bones, Summer Sun. Just like the Raging Sun, this particular sun breathing move can also be used for both attack and defense. However, the manner in which this attack is carried out makes it even more powerful. Unlike the two horizontal slashes of the Raging Sun, this technique allows for a circular slash that completely covers the area around the user. This makes Burning Bones Summer Sun a perfect move to dish out some pain and defend from blows too. Fifth Form Setting Sun Transformation The Setting Sun Transformation is easily one of the most flamboyant sun breathing techniques around. The movement of this technique involves a backflip to build up momentum. Following this, the user delivers a powerful slash, using this momentum to great effect. With the right application, this technique can easily dismember and decapitate lesser enemies. Sixth form, Solar Heat Haze. This is easily one of the most clever sun breathing techniques around. It involves a sword slash covered in a haze that seems easy to avoid. However, that's where Solar Heat Haze proves to be quite damaging. The haze covering the blade is meant to distract enemies from the fact that the blade has already slashed them, making them dodge the blow well after it has already struck them. Seventh form, Beneficent Radiance. Sun breathing is a powerful technique, and incorporating a move that gives the enemy no chance of escape makes it even more powerful. This is precisely what Beneficent Radiance aims to accomplish. This technique involves the user spiraling into the air while unleashing a powerful blade strike. The force behind this move is so immense that it can completely envelop an enemy and spell their doom. Eighth form, Sunflower Thrust. A litany of impressive moves has already been discussed on this list. In comparison to all that, the Sunflower Thrust seems almost mundane in comparison. However, the power of this move should not be understated. True to its name, the Sunflower Thrust delivers a powerful stabbing attack with the point of the blade to impale enemies. Ninth Form Dragon Sun Halo Head Dance the Dragon Sun Halo Head Dance is easily one of the flashiest sun breathing moves on this list. The impressive name itself should be indicative of just how powerful this move really is. With this move, the user lets loose a single continuous attack in the same vein as Constant Flux, 
Fittingly enough, this attack takes the form of a flame-coated dragon that has the ability to decapitate multiple enemies in one go. 10th form, Fire Wheel. There are several wheel-themed attacks present across the multiple breathing styles in Demon Slayer. However, the Fire Wheel attack of the Sun Breathing style boasts one unique difference. Unlike the other attacks that are pretty direct without any fancy movement, the Fire Wheel technique mandates the user to jump behind the enemy to flank them, before unleashing this circular sword attack. It's an attack befitting a rousing action manga. 11th form, Fake Rainbow. Just like the Solar Heat Haze, Fake Rainbow is another attack meant to deceive an enemy. However, unlike Solar Heat Haze, it's not the sword that is meant to serve as a source of confusion. Rather, it's the body of the user itself. This is because Fake Rainbow involves a ton of quick spins and tricky footwork that leaves after images of the user in its wake. This is bound to bamboozle most enemies who try to hit these after images, but in vain. 12th Form Flame Dance After all these amazing attacks, the description of the flame dance might come across to some readers as underwhelming. However, don't underestimate simplicity. The sheer power of this attack makes it a formidable move. The flame dance involves a combination of both a powerful vertical and horizontal slash. If used properly, it can spell doom for most foes because of the sheer amount of power behind this attack. 13th Form The 13th form of the Sun Breathing style is unique in the sense that it doesn't really have a name of its own. Rather, it's a combination of all 12 forms present in this style, used in succession to maximize their power. This move was devised by Tanjiro solely to defeat Muzan. After all, the 12 hearts that Muzan could move around his body needed to be downed in one fell swoop, which is why Tanjiro resorted to this powerful technique. So this was it guys, if you enjoyed it make sure to check out more of our videos.